But understand this, there will be terrible times in the last days. People will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful and proud, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful and unholy. People will be without love, unforgiving and slanderous, without self-control but brutal, not lovers of the good. People will be treacherous, rash and conceited, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. They will always be learning but never able to come to a knowledge of the truth, having a form of godliness but denying its power. Have nothing to do with such people. Will not God bring about justice for his chosen ones who cry out to him day and night? Will he keep putting them off? I tell you, he will see that they get justice and quickly. However, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on the earth? The nations have fallen into the pit they have dug. Their feet are caught in the net they have hidden. For the Lord is known by his acts of justice. The wicked are ensnared by the work of their hands. The wicked go down to the realm of the dead, all the nations that forget God. But God will never forget the needy. The hope of the afflicted will never perish. Arise, Lord. Do not let mortals triumph. Let the nations be judged in your presence. Strike them with terror, Lord. Let the nations know they are only mortal. Is one of the major centers for this drunkenness anointing in North America. They specialize in what they call the fire tunnel, where they impart this anointing to all the young people. Can you imagine walking into a room? Elephant, it wasn't just an ordinary elephant, it was a wild elephant, a wild elephant. It was radical, 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 radical. Ah. And the elephant means The Spirit clearly says that in the later times, some will abandon their faith and follow deceiving spirits and things taught by demons. Such teachings come through hypocritical liars whose conscience have been seared as with a hot iron. Dear children, this is the last hour, and as you have heard that the Antichrist is coming, even now many antichrist have come. This is how we know it is the last hour. The coming of the lawless one will be in accordance with how Satan works. He will use all sorts of displays of power through signs and wonders to serve that lie and all the ways that wickedness deceives those who are perishing. They perish because they refuse to love the truth and so be saved. For this reason, God sends them a powerful delusion so that they will believe the lie and so that all will be condemned who have not believed the truth but have delighted in wickedness. You must understand that in the last days, scoffers will come scoffing and following their own evil desires. For they will say, where is this coming he promised? Ever since our ancestors died, everything goes on as it has since the beginning of creation. These are the people who divide you, who follow mere natural instincts and do not have the spirit. For the Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, 
as some understand slowness. Instead, he is patient with us, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. At the end time, many will turn away from the faith and will betray, and they will hate each other. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Because of the increase of wickedness, the love of most will grow cold, but the one who stands firm to the end will be saved. Therefore keep watch, because you do not know on what day your Lord will come. But you, brothers and sisters, are not in darkness, so that this day should surprise you like a thief. While people are saying, peace and safety, destruction will come on them suddenly as labor pains on a pregnant woman and they will not escape. The person without the Spirit does not accept the things that come from the Spirit of God, but considers them foolishness and cannot understand them, because they are discerned only through the Spirit. For the God of this age has blinded the minds of unbelievers, so that they cannot see the light of the gospel that displays the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. And no wonder. For Satan himself masquerades as an angel of light. It is not surprising if his servants also masquerade as servants of righteousness. Their end will be what their actions deserve. We know that we are children of God, and that the whole world is under the control of the evil one. But since we belong to the day, let us be sober, putting on faith and love as a breastplate and the hope of salvation is a helmet. As it was in the days of Noah, so it will be with the coming of our Lord Jesus. For in the days before the flood, people were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage up to the day Noah entered the ark. And they knew nothing about what would happen until the flood came and took them all away. That is how it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. Do not let anyone deceive you in any way. For that day will not come until the rebellion occurs, and the man of lawlessness is revealed, the man doomed to destruction. You will hear of wars and rumors of wars, but see to it that you are not alarmed. Such things must happen, but the end is still to come. Earthquakes, famines, wars, kingdom against kingdom, pestilences, all these are the beginning of birth pains. At that time, if anyone says to you, look, here is the Messiah, or here he is, do not believe it. For as lightning that comes from the east is visible even in the west, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. And the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee, and the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee. For thy merchants were the great men of the earth, for by thy sorceries were all nations deceived. It forced all people, great and small, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hands or on their foreheads, so that they could not buy or sell unless they had the mark, which is the name of the beast, or the number of its name. The end of all things is near, therefore be alert and of sober mind, so that you may pray. 
Above all, love each other deeply, because love covers over a multitude of sins. Love does no harm to a neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfillment of the law. And do this understanding the present time. The hour has already come for you to wake up from your slumber because our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed. The night is nearly over. The day is almost here. So let us put aside the deeds of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us behave decently as in the daytime, not in carousing and drunkenness, not in sexual immorality or debauchery, not in dissension and jealousy. Rather, clothe yourselves with the Lord Jesus Christ and do not think about how to gratify the desires of the flesh.